I'll start this one by plotting negative 2, 1 on the circumference of the circle. So it's not super accurate, but I'll just kind of put in general. I know negative 2 is to the left and then 1 is up. Now I'm just drawing in the right triangle so that we can find sine, cos, and tan. So the negative 2 is the horizontal leg of the right triangle. The 1 is the vertical leg of the right triangle. Now we need to find the hypotenuse. To do that, use Pythagoras' theorem. Since I'm looking for the hypotenuse, I know that I'm going to add the squares of the two legs. So that's why it's 1 squared plus negative 2 squared is r squared, which is 1 plus 4 equals r squared. r squared is 5. r is the square root of 5. Now it's important to notice that the angle in standard position is this angle to the right of the triangle that we've just found all the lengths on, but sine, cos, and tan of that angle in standard position is actually based on the reference angle. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite side of the reference angle is 1, and the hypotenuse is root 5. Just enter 1 divided by the square root of 5 on your calculator and you should get 0 0.44721. And now we'll find cos theta. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so adjacent to the reference angle is negative 2 and the hypotenuse is root 5. And again, just punch into your calculator negative 2 divided by the square root of 5 and you should get negative 0 0.89443. Tan theta is opposite over adjacent, and opposite to the reference angle is 1, and the adjacent side is negative 2. 1 divided by negative 2 is negative 0 0.5. What I'm going to do now is use all three of these ratios to actually find what theta is. So the first ratio, if I go sine inverse of 1 over root 5, I get 27 degrees. For the cosine, if I use that ratio, I go cos inverse of negative 2 over root 5, and I get 153 degrees. The third ratio, if I go tan inverse of 1 over negative 2, I get negative 27 degrees. When I look at these three angles, 27 degrees, 153 degrees, and negative 27 degrees, what I notice is that angle theta in standard position is in the second quadrant. The only one that's possibly in the second, or that is in the second quadrant, is 153 degrees. So that is actually right. So theta is 153. So then what is 27? Well, the 27 is the reference angle. And I can tell just by going 180, minus the little 27 gives me the 153. So that's what the relationship is between the reference angle and theta. Uh, the negative 27, what tan is giving us is negative 27, which is kind of like the reference angle, but it's negative. And it's hard to understand at this point what is going on, but that's part of our goal is as we move through the lesson is to figure out why we're getting these angles.